Hey everyone, right now we're going to do an honest review of the chef's table on Celebrity Summit, right after this. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks so much for coming to check us out. We're trying to hit 3,000 uh, subscribers this month. We would love for you to subscribe. Click that little button below. Um, join us on this journey here. We really, really, really appreciate it. So I just got off the Celebrity Summit. I did the chef's table. I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, we're gonna get into my honest review of it. I've done chef's table on Royal Caribbean twice. I did it on Oasis of the Seas and on Enchantment of the Seas. So we're gonna compare and contrast a little bit and uh, and talk about what it what's good, what's bad, pros and cons. So first of all, the chef's table is about $130 uh, if you prepay for it. That does not include any kind of a wine pairing that is strictly for the food and the experience. So let's talk about it. You meet at uh, 5.30. We met at 5.30 at Cellar Masters, uh, which is on deck five of the Celebrity Summit. It's right outside of Sushi on Five. So you get there. They have like little uh, snacks th that were delightful. Uh, they give you a little bit of champagne. And you sit down and you just chat with the other people. Here's what I will say. On Celebrity Summit, it's only eight people. That's a very, very nice experience. It's very small. It's intimate. I really enjoyed that. On Royal, it's about 16 to 18 people, depending. Could be less. I think there was 14 on our enchantment one. Eight's a really good number. You have a really good conversation with everybody involved. You're not at really far ends of the table. Uh, that was really nice. I love that. So once you meet up, the they did really some really nice touches on Celebrity. They had the captain come down and uh, say hi to everybody, which was really, really nice. The cruise director, Manuel, was there. He said hello to everybody. And then the chef came out uh, and spoke to us. Michael was in charge of this. He runs the uh, Ocean View Cafe, which is the buffet. He's the executive chef. Uh, and he came down and explained how everything was gonna work. We then got a behind the scenes tour. It was about a 10 minute tour but we got a behind the scenes tour of the kitchens while they were working, which is very rare because usually when they do the tours, it's after breakfast or before lunch or after lunch. Generally speaking, you don't go into the kitchen while uh, service is going on. This was during, right in the middle of early service, obviously, and uh, the kitchens were hustling and bustling, went right into the heart of the kitchen. We saw the blue kitchen, the Lumine kitchen, and the uh, kitchen that was preparing a lot of the food for the main dining room. So that was really cool. We got a good explanation of everything going on there. And then we headed into Tuscan Grill into the very back into a small table. I will say the the like pros and cons of the different ones that I've been on. Enchantment of the Seas, we were in a private room. That was really, really nice. Uh, on uh, Oasis of the Seas, we were in the Solarium Cafe. And we were in uh, like a little private section, a little private room there. That was beautiful. So for this, we were in the restaurant. We were in the restaurant with the rest of the people, which is fine. Uh, it just wasn't as intimate, but the table was very intimate, which is very nice. Um, so then we got this lovely uh, menu here and you get to take it home, which is very, very nice. It's autographed. I don't know who it's autographed by. I'd imagine it's supposed to be autographed by Daniel Balud but he's not on the ship, so I don't know why. Um, oh, it's it's uh, the executive chef. So that's really cool. It's autographed by the, the executive chef. So you get a little amuse-bouche, which is just a little starter bite uh, for you to try. It was watermelon uh, with some lobster and strawberry. That was delicious. Uh, after that, we had a curry cauliflower soup with saffron and apples. Uh, there is a pairing. You could do a wine pairing as well. The wine pairing was an additional $72. Again, pros and cons. On Royal, you get the wine pairing and it's a, a longer, it's more courses. So value-wise, the Royal one's probably a little bit of a better value, but we'll get into that. Uh, I did not do the wine pairing. Uh, it's too much alcohol and it. For $72, I wasn't going to do that. So the soup was excellent. From there, we went into a mushroom risotto. That was very good. Uh, it was standard mushroom risotto, right? Nothing crazy there. Uh, also, I'm super picky about my risotto. I want my risotto to be creamy. It's a, you know, I understand I'm being picky, but it was good. It was just a 
the, a little glob of risotto, you know? So it was very good. But here's the thing, right? If you're judging it on, it's supposed to be from Danielle Baloud. It's supposed to be a fancy schmancy meal. Daniel Baloud has Michelin star restaurants, a three Michelin star restaurant, which is the best you can get. Um, so your expectations go up than just being on the Royal Caribbean one where it's just a fancy dinner. Uh, so the risotto was good. It wasn't spectacular, but it was good. Next up was a sea bass with zatar seasoning. That was very good. Uh, food with overall, the food was very, very good. And then the fourth, uh, the main entrees were a duo of filet mignon and short beef short ribs. This was excellent. Very, very, very good. And they had like a little potato and vegetable, uh, forget what it's called in the middle. Uh, that was good. I'm not a big fan of those, but it was very tasty and well done. So all of that food was excellent. And then for dessert, we had a, um, almost like a chocolate mousse. Uh, it was delicious with Java chocolate. It was excellent. You got a little spiced ice cream and they gave us a little glass of port. They gave everybody a little glass of port. It was excellent. Uh, the dinner was very, very good. I have no issue with anything at the dinner. So, uh, it's a great experience. Like I said, you get the little autograph menu. You get a picture of everyone that you were at the dinner with. These were all delightful people. So, so nice. Everybody I had seen throughout the cruise as well afterwards. It was great. You also get this uh, beautiful 550-pound cookbook, the Danielle Blued My French Cuisine Cookbook. This thing is huge. It's, it literally weighs about 10 pounds. So I had to, like, clear out some of my luggage to get this bad boy in there. Um, but... Let's talk about the overall experience. The overall experience was really nice. From an experience standpoint, I liked it better than the Royal Caribbean one. You get, you know, you get all these little things to take home. You get uh, the tour of the kitchens while they're working. I thought all of that was excellent. Those things were great. The food, right? Here's the thing. The food was great. However, here's what I will say. The food on Royal is just as good, if not better. It was kind of my theme throughout this cruise. We'll talk about it a little more when I do my full review. But the um, the food was good. I have, I have zero complaints. It's a great experience. I highly recommend it. I'm just comparing it to Royal. So in comparing it to Royal, I actually thought, especially on Oasis, uh, the food was very, very, very good. Uh, on Enchantment, it was good as well, but the world dessert was a little wonky. So um, I don't think they had all the proper ingredients. But... It's a great experience. So if you are going on Celebrity, if you're going on Summit or any other ship, because I, I imagine it's very similar, um, I highly recommend it. You could do the wine pairing if you want. It is an additional $72. I didn't think that was worth it, but you can certainly do that. So those are my thoughts on the chef's table. Have you done the chef's table? Have you done it on any of the other ships or any of the other lines? What are your thoughts? Let me know below. I thought it was a really cool experience. Uh, I would love to get other people's feedback. One of the things to keep in mind when you're doing dining and dining reviews, it's very subjective, right? We all have different opinions of food. We all have different tastes, different things that we like. So take everything with a grain of salt. But the experience overall is really great. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it and have a great day.